On this episode of On the Set, I'm back with another James Bond film. This time, it's Daniel Craig's second film, Quantum of Solace. The film starts off with Bond driving to Italy with Mr. White from the previous movie in the trunk of his car. He takes Mr. White to M, the head of MI6, to interrogate him about a mysterious organization called Quantum. Mr. White states that Quantum's agents are everywhere, and then M's bodyguard turns out to be one, attacking M. Bond chases the bodyguard and kills him, leaving Mr. White to escape. Then, Bond goes to the bodyguard's house and finds a contact of his, a guy named Slate, who is also a hitman. Slate was hired by an environmentalist named Dominic Green to kill his lover, a woman named Camille. As that's going on, Green is also working alongside a general named Medrano, who killed Camille's family and was exiled from Bolivia. They plan to overthrow the Bolivian government and take it over. So Bond shows up and saves Camille from being killed by Slate, a guy named Beam, and a CIA agent named Leader strike a deal with Green, which is to not interfere in his affairs in exchange for a stock of Bolivian oil. They assume that the oil is the reason Green wants to land in Bolivia. After that, Bond heads to an opera where a quantum meeting is being held, and a huge firefight ensues. In the fight, a bodyguard of a prime minister working for Quantum gets thrown off a roof, and MI6 assumes Bond killed him. But when he refuses to come in for questioning, M basically kicks Bond out of MI6. Then he goes to Talamone and talks with his old friend Mathis, asking him to go to Bolivia with him. And once there, Bond meets Strawberry Fields, a Bolivian consular, who tells him to go back to the UK. As per usual though, Bond does what he always does. Then, they go to a fundraiser held by Green, where Bond saves Camille yet again. As they leave, the police pull Bond over and discover Mathis unconscious. And all of a sudden, the police shoot and kill Mathis as Bond kills them. The following day, Bond and Camille check out the land that Green is intending to acquire. Their plane gets damaged by a Bolivian fighter plane, and they skydive out of it. A bit later on, M tells Bond that Quantum killed Strawberry Fields. They drowned her in oil. Wow, what bastards. Then, Leader meets up with Bond and tells him that Green and Madrano are planning to meet at a hotel at the Atacama Desert. Bond and Camille infiltrate the hotel, and Bond kills the chief of police for basically killing Mathis. And then they confront Green. As that's going on, Camille kills Madrano, avenging her family. Bond then captures Green and interrogates him about Quantum, afterward leaving him in the desert to fend for himself. A bit later on in Russia, Bond tracks down a guy named Yusuf, who is a former lover of Vesper Lynn from the previous movie, and Bond has him arrested by MI6. After telling Bond that Green was found dead in the desert, she asks him to come back to MI6, to which he says he never left. The End So this one was a pretty good sequel to Casino Royale. Bond got revenge for what happened to Vesper, and he foiled Green's plan. So far, Daniel Craig is doing a pretty good job as Bond. But, on to the next one.